podcast. Hello and thanks for joining us at the Barnsley Chronicle, where I'm joined by sports editor Doug O'Kane, and we're going to preview Barnsley's final regular game of the season. In this week's pre-match press conference, I asked Michael Duff about the flat Peter propose, what he expects from the game, and how he feels going into the last game of the regular season. We're against a style of playing the type of team you're expecting, obviously under Aaron Ferguson, another team that's changed manager mid-season. Um, yeah, well, that seems to happen more and more these days. Um, really expansive, front part of the pitch, really dynamic. Got one of the top goal scorers in the league in, in Kyle Karras, but the three behind him are um, keep the width, get chalk on the boots almost like the old days with the wingers, and, and they rotate, they play, they don't go back to front, but they can because of obviously Clark Harris's physicality. So the the run that they've been on, they've had a couple of disappointing results in the last couple of weeks, but Ipswich have beaten nearly everybody. Um, well, from the they have beaten everybody recently, so as we well know, so they're, they're, they're a good team. They're a good team. Um, with an experienced manager, I'm pretty confident that he'll he'll have a plan and he'll he won't panic because he the beauty of what he does now he knows what he needs to do. Um, so yeah, we'll be preparing for the best version of him and try and get the things out of the game that we need to get out of the game. It's almost quite a good just rehearsal for the players, isn't it? It's, it's on Sky and it's against a team who have absolutely everything to play for. Yeah, again, but look, you know, like I said, it's we're we're going to finish fourth whether we win, lose, or draw. So it's not going to affect. It's not going to affect us, but we just want to concentrate on ourselves. So whether we play a pre-season friendly or whether we're playing in the playoffs, there's certain things that we expect of the players. Um, but like the fact that it is on Sky, it's our last home game of the, of the proper season. We want to go out and put out a better performance than what we did on Saturday. You say it's obviously it is the last home league game of the season. It's a it's a different place and it's a different atmosphere on match days than it was back when you took over, isn't it? Uh, definitely, you're probably better mm-hmm. versed to tell me in terms of the atmosphere last season crept into the start of this season and going back to just a, uh, an answer just given in terms of building relationships it was one of the key things that we wanted to do and I think the supporters have, well this is not a thing, I, I know the supporters have bought into the team's work ethic, the way they go about their, their business, not always going to win, sometimes you're going to have poor moments, give poor goals, and makes, players are human beings and they make mistakes but I think in this part of the world um, particularly they forgive a mistake as long as application and effort and determination is there and that's one thing that I don't think can be labelled at the players we got beat 3-0 by Ipswich and a lot of the players got cut off the pitch because there was an intensity and a purpose of what we're trying to do we're going to get beat trying to get beat playing our way and that's, that's what happened and I think the supporters have seen that of all of all, all, all over the year um, and, and they've come with us as well which has been great. So Doug, uh, last weekend of the regular season uh, obviously Barnsley have got uh, an extended period um, that must be a great feeling considering where they were 12, mo- 12 months ago. Yeah definitely, I think um, the Peterborough game is going to be exactly a year from the West Brom game at the end of last season when they got thrashed 4-0 and it was the end of obviously a really miserable campaign. And, yeah, great progress on and off the pitch since then in lots of different ways. Um, and yeah, m- much better, much better place as a club. And hopefully they can cap it with a promotion. There's plenty of dead rubbers knocking about. I suppose Barnsley have been fortunate in that the the two games they've got, they've had, sorry, you know, so this this game and the, the previous game, going up against a team with something to play for, it keeps that intensity up. Yeah, I think so, definitely. Um, Obviously, MK Dons was a difficult one in some ways, going 4-1 four, four down, but they showed some character to come back and um, Duff was pretty angry with them after in the, afterwards in the dressing room. He said it's the first time for a long time he lost his, his temper, so you'd expect them to show a bit uh, more of a sort of consistent, solid performance over the, over the game on Sunday. It's obviously, I agree with you what you said about the opponents have got lots to play for, but it's, there's going to be a natural drop off in the games where there is nothing to nothing to play for before the playoffs and after the playoff place has been secured. It's, it's human nature; it's going to happen. But uh, hopefully, we we'll see a decent performance from Barnsley on Sunday and go into the playoffs on a high. Because Peter have absolutely got to win to, to to get into the playoffs themselves. Yeah, they need to win. I think they need um, Derby to, to slip up at, uh, at Hillsborough against Sheffield Wednesday. So um, they could, they could do it. So yeah, they, they'll have everything on, on the line. So uh, yeah, very motivated opposition on on Sunday. 
Uh, yeah, and obviously results on Sunday will dictate who Barnes League play. Obviously, there's only two options. Yeah, it's looking highly likely Bolton, but it could still be Derby, depending on if, if Bolton um, slip up at home to Bristol Rovers and um, Derby win uh, at uh, Sheffield Wednesday, then yeah, but they could be Derby, but uh, probably more likely to be Bolton. Either way, two, two big clubs for this level, two clubs who will probably take a lot of fans to Oak Hall and have a, uh, a packed ground at their place, so either way, it should be, it should be a big tie. Justin Clark, Harry's obviously a name um, probably everyone everyone knows at this level. Mm-hmm. Um, he uh, has just been pipped in the leading goal scorer states in, in League One by another former bandsman, Colin Chaplin. Mm-hmm. Um, do you think he'll be uh, he'll be keen to, to to get back on top and chase that golden boot? Yeah, I thought so. Um, and obviously, they'll be looking at him to, to sort of be the main danger man. On Saturday, they got some other decent players in there. And um, when Bardi went down there, Kwame Poku and um, Clark, um, the, the other winger, Mason, were really good. Um, so they're, they're decent players there. Um, and yes, Butch Clark Harris, of course, he's, he's got 25 goals. Chaplin's been on great form recently and overtaken him, hasn't he? But, um, yeah, I think he'll be, he'll be looking that and to get them in the uh, in the playoffs as well. I don't think he's ever scored against Barnsley, but he's got 100 League One goals pretty much. So he, yeah, very dangerous player at this level. So, so what's Barnsley's team news? A um, couple of doubts. Jordan Williams is that uh, has got a, ham, a minor hamstring issue. They don't seem too worried about it. Wait, they were waiting for a result of the scan as of yesterday. Um, similar with Mads Anderson, he's got an abdominal. Uh, abdominal pain um, so, uh, strain um, so yeah they're waiting for them to come back uh, they seem fairly confident both of them will play in the playoffs but we'll just have to see, see what the scan said and we probably won't find out about that until Sunday um, other than that Adam Phillips and Luke O'Connell are back uh, in training so they might come in and again it's just going to be a case of if anyone's not quite right don't risk them but um, I think it'll be a fairly strong team with maybe a couple of uh, players who normally on the bench starting. It's a busy time of year for you on your, on your sports pages, Doug. What else is making the news this week? Yeah, it's uh, that time when there's a crossover between cricket and football. So um, the cricket season has just started, a couple of rainy weekends, but the, uh, the first week where there's lots going on, obviously, Barnsley. Cricket Club have won a couple of league games, and uh, Cup games, sorry, not won in the league yet. And then. Um, Elsewhere, um, Barnsley Ladies Football have won their title. Um, more football-wise, as the County Senior League is going down to the last day on Wednesday with 1-1 Main and, and Doddeth uh, both potentially winning winning that. And then we've got a couple of uh, people from Barnsley uh, playing in World Championships in their sports at the moment. Um, Holly Norton in squash and um, Lachlan Moorhead in, in judo. So yeah, there's quite a lot going on. If you enjoyed our video, don't forget to subscribe and you'll be notified whenever we upload new content.